Pipkin here. Today we're going to learn how to make some sticky notes. We're going to make um, fancy ones with like a pattern within a pattern. And I'm going to show you a number of techniques that you may or may not have known how to do. The Silhouette software isn't, it's not that difficult to learn. Um, but if you're struggling, this is going to help you do a number of different things. So let's get started. I have selected my shape and um, this is one I got in Silhouette Studio Store and you can get these there or you can um, find clip art on the web, different things, or you can come over here and you could just make a rectangle or a circle, what have you. So basically what I've done is I've picked my shape and I've resized it. Uh, this is about the size that I want. To make the kind of sticky notes with the pattern I want, I'm going to need three shapes. So I picked my base shape. Now I'm going to right click, duplicate. I'm going to come over here just to take it out of the way. Make this one a little bit smaller. Mm, that's not going to work. There we go. And that's going to give me um, like a pretty border. I've actually already made some of these and I printed them out. So it works really good. Then I'm going to duplicate that. So now I have one, two, three shapes. Two are the same size, one is larger. Okay. Now to make this pattern sticky note, we're going to come over here to fill pattern. I'm going to pick a uh, pattern of my choosing. Okay, to fill the pattern, I'm going to click on it. So it's highlighted. And then I click on the, the design I want to use. It's that simple. Okay, now I am going to want to do a pattern within a pattern. And I want to do that sort of like washed out look, if you've ever seen it. To do that, I'm going to fill this with the exact same pattern, but then I'm going to come down to advanced settings. This is what transparency is for. See that? It kind of washes it out. And now what I had initially was an opaque image, but now I have a totally transparent image. I know what you're thinking. Okay. That, yeah, okay, I, I could see that working, but how am I going to write on that and see what I'm writing? This is the trick. Come over here and I click on this one. Then I go to fill color and I'm just going to use a solid color. I'm going to use white, opaque white. And then I'm going to layer them on top of one another. But before I do that, this is something that I, I tried to figure out for the longest time. I eventually figured it out on my own. But now these two don't have cut lines. So a complicated shape like this, I don't want to cut a million of those by hand. I can send this through my silhouette and it's going to cut them for me. If I don't want it to cut the exterior of this and then the exterior of this, which, you know, then I've got that little border. I've got a million pieces and they're all kind of useless. That's what I do. I, cut, I turn off the cut lines for these just right here in cut settings. Depending on your software, it might be in a different location, um, but you want to be in cut settings. You want to click on the one you want and hit no cut. It's as simple as that. If you're layering multiple pieces, I always recommend you have everything out in front of you and you, you turn the cut lines off just those ones. You could layer them all and, and then go and hit no cut and then put just cut edge. I have had bad things happen that way. This is the best way to do it, in my opinion. So then we're going to leave this window. We're going to go to align. Okay. I want to make sure that everything is perfectly centered. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to go center to page. Click on that one, center to page. Now, this looks very pretty as is, but to give it that sort of um, pattern on pattern effect, 
center to page. Just like the ones you buy at the store. It really is that simple. Now, if you had um, put the pattern in this one, not this one, because this is the last one I created, I duplicated this shape from this one. This one's always going to lay on top of that one, unless I move it to the back. So um, I'm going to show you. Say you laid them on top, you know, you click to center, click to center, and it looks like that. No problem. Right click, bring to front, Ugh. bring forward, sorry. That's all you have to do. And it really doesn't matter um, which one you do center to page, so long as you're going, you, you, can, you can always bring the one you want to the front. So there you go. Now, you saw that I was able to take the layers apart. To make this all one piece, I'm gonna highlight them all, right click, hit group. In the very beginning when I separated those three images, I did the exact reverse. Highlighted them all, right click, and I hit ungroup. That's all there is to it. Next step, we're going to come over here and I want to make sure my registration marks are on because again, I don't want to cut this by hand and I want my machine to know where to cut. I don't want any mistakes. This is your cut line. If your design is like this, it will not cut this portion of the design. This is your print line. If your design is like this, it will not cut everything over here and it will not print everything over here. So these lines do actually mean something and you must pay attention to them. There, there's more than one way to go about filling this page. Obviously, I don't want to print just one sticky note. That's silly. To make multiples, you're going to come up here to this little design that looks like a spire graph and click on that. That is the replicate window. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to hit fill page. There you go. Now, obviously, I don't want to have just eight sticky notes. Even for me, that's too few. There's different ways you can go about making more. You can just hit duplicate and keep going and, and move them around to sort of fit as many as you can on a, on a page. I think the max I was able to do with something that's just over two inches, um, this particular design, I want to say it was about 13 of them that I was able to kind of cram in there. To make multiples of them, you can do um, create a row of three or you could um, a, a column of three or four, but um, now you just have a bunch of shapes to play around with. And you could, instead of hitting fill a page, just do this and then you will, oh gosh, I separated them, but that's okay. If you highlight them, it will move these ones together. These look like they're overlapping, but they're not. So you'll get a perfect cut and you won't be wasting any space. These are options. It's going to depend on, you know, what you want to do if you even care. Um, for me, I just put I 13, 14 of them in there randomly, fit as many as I could in there, and that was more than enough for me. Now I know what you're thinking, okay, so I have all of these little things and I'm going to put my copy paper in and I'm going to print these out and they've printed beautifully, they've cut beautifully, but I just have a bunch of pieces of paper. That's not a sticky note. Well, that's no problem. This is what you want. This was at one point actually called Post-it Note Glue. It is um, called uh, by Scotch, they call it a restickable glue stick. Uh, Elmer's makes one as well. Just to make sure you're getting one that says restickable or repositionable. And you can put as much or as little of it on as you want. I personally hate it when you get a sticky note and they'll put like from here up with glue. It's never enough. They never stay stuck down. I would cover 
the bulk of this. Uh, obviously not the whole thing because how are you going to lift them up? But, um, you know, you can put the glue where you want it. Uh, if you were to go and do something like a ballet dancer, you could do one and you can, you know, write in the skirt or something like that. Um, but you can make sure the glue is up here on her hands, which might lift up or something like that. So if you wanted to do a really unusual shape, you could be sure the glue is where it is. Sometimes you get an unusual pad and it's great, but then, like, there's no glue here. So that kind of lifts and then it gets damaged and next thing you know it's ripped off. What you're going to want to do though is make sure you put the glue where the glue is going to work. Don't just lay your one piece down, put some glue up here, and then, um, sorry, and then put that on on top. No, what you want to do is you're going to want to flip them over and put your glue on the back side of this and then lay it down. Put your glue on the back side of this one, you know, lay it down. So you're working from the bottom of the stack to the top of the stack. If you're a person that goes through a lot of sticky notes, you might have to print off a couple of sheets. For me, with what I get off of a single sheet, that's going to be more than enough. And if you like to update the look of your kit every week or every month, this is going to be perfect because you're not going to waste any paper. Um, I, I hate having a bunch of half-used sticky notes laying around. I love sticky notes. It's like one of my most favorite things, which is magical. But um, it's annoying when you get down to those last couple of sheets. This way I can say, okay, well, I'm going to use like maybe 10 sticky notes a week so I can make just 10. And then I don't have any extras left over, um, just getting kind of beat up in the pockets of my planner. And um, you, there you have it. It's, it can make a really cute gift, especially if you put the person's monogram in there. Um, if you have a silhouette and you have the time and the creativity, there's no limit to what you can kind of make with this. Um, I'm, I'm really over the moon with, with my silhouette purchase and I hope that this tutorial helps you to be in love with yours. Okay, so um, that's all for, for this video. If you liked it, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video. If you have any questions, if I wasn't super clear about something, please don't hesitate to ask a question in the comment section. I'm not the best at this, but I'm more than happy to help answer any questions that you might have. Okay, bye.